Palestine is a city with hundreds of historical wonders, but sometimes even buildings become inhabitable. I sat down with Mark Myers, building official for the city of Palestine, to discuss this more in depth. Yeah, I'm Mark Myers, I'm the building official for the city of Palestine. Um, wanted to talk about the uh, <clears throat> substandard home uh, program that we have. What we, uh, what our intentions are on the substandard homes uh, per our ordinance is when a, a home is uh, abandoned or neglected, uh, sometimes there's a complaint filed about it. We go investigate it, and uh, if it fits the uh, description of substandard home or substandard housing in the uh, within the city ordinance, we will uh, bring it before the Building and Standards Commission for a review. Uh, they'll look at the condition of the home, whether it's collapsing upon itself, if it's, uh, say, <clears throat> attracting vagrants or, or even drug-based uh, dealings there. Uh, they'll look at the back taxes, if they're paid or not, uh, different things like that. If the foundation and uh, rest of the house is just not fixable, uh, either remove the home or offer the owner a way to, uh, or a chance to uh, rehabilitate it. I'm standing on a vacant lot on the corner of Louisiana and Rampart Street in Palestine. What used to be here was a house in deplorable conditions according to the city. What they're trying to do with this project is clean up old housing units that are no longer livable in. Turning it into this. A vacant lot that's just waiting for a good buyer. The Palestine Herald Press, I'm James Robertson.